What up, what up, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. Today we have an article talking about HBO Max, The Penguin. Now episode four did just drop this Sunday and the recap is up on my channel. But what we're gonna do is look into this article that's saying how good the show is doing. Now one thing we have to point out, HBO, they are on top of the game when it comes to putting out TV shows and movies. Well, another thing, they're dropping their shows on Sundays. Now we know Sundays, especially in the fall, and early in the year, these are the toughest days to drop because of NFL Sunday football. But they're saying that this might be one of the highest ranked TV shows. And that's all off the back of Sophia and her backstory. Now, before we jump into this and we break this down, if you like the show Penguin or you like to hear more on articles about different TV shows and movies that we're watching, well, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. And hey. Let me tell you, The Penguin is much watched TV. So let's go ahead and jump into this article over on Deadline. In the U.S., the series debut of the HBO original averaged 5.3 million cross-platform U.S. viewers over its weekend debut. Now, you think about over the whole weekend, the series debut, four episodes later, one day, 1.7 million viewers cross-platform. You can't deny they got something here. This is an amazing show. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do my recap because I was in London, but the recap is up on my channel. I'll be back to doing them on time and you'll have them on Mondays. The Penguin, which hails from DC Studios, is executive produced by Matt Reeves, Dylan Clark, Colin Farrell, and Lauren LaFront, who serves as a writer and showrunner. Craig Zobel directed the first three episodes in addition to executive producing. Bill Caro, also executive producers. I scrolled down just a little further to see what the comments say, and it says, Luis, I really, really hope there is a season two. I can definitely agree with that. We need a season two. Of course, we got to see how the season plays out, but so far, definitely do it. Anonymous said, the show is so effing good. What an episode. Tyler, just a fantastic program. It might be the best on TV right now. Colin Farrell should be a Golden Globe Emmy frontrunner. Now, will I say it's the best show on television? Yes, I mean, I don't know any other shows that I'm watching that can really compete with this. I mean, my show's the power is off right now, but this would have probably been better than power anyway. They're doing a good job, and they're going to win awards for this. We're not denying this show any awards. They're going to get all that. Malcolm said, I'm three episodes in, and it's my favorite show on TV so far. Just excellent, everything from the look to the acting, the writing, directing. Now, if you know me and on my channel, I'm not really a big superhero watcher, but I am a fan of the villains. And I like how they're setting up eyes, a.k.a. the Penguin, and how we're getting backstories. And it's not just specifically on him, but it's him, Sophia, a.k.a. the Hangman, which episode was talking about her backstory. We got Vic. So they're doing a great job, and it's dark. I like that. Anonymous. That is not a lot. I don't even know what that means. The Penguin is an amazing series, the writing, the visuals, the acting, pretty much everything right there. And lastly, we have an article over on IMDB. They go a little more in detail. Uh, that's up 21% from the series premiere on September 19th, with score of 1.4 million cross-platform viewers doing its Thursday debut. That was during a week before the Batman spinoff series moved to its regular Sunday evening time slot viewership for episode four was also up from episode two, which drew in 1.6 million cross-platform viewers. Now, this is what I was really harping on right here. The fourth episode of The Penguin, which included a turning point in uh, Sophia's uh, storyline, scored an impressive viewership as it went head-to-head -head with the competing NFL Sunday night in the MLB National League Championship Series. So, when you're going up against the big shows, the big wigs, we know sporting in America is a a huge turnout. That's an amazing thing there. And speaking of IMDb, we're over on the Men's Journal. The Penguin Episode 4 is one of the highest rated TV shows ever. Now, since Anna has a near perfect scores across the board, critics love The Penguin, giving his latest episode the highest rating ever. The Penguin Episode 4 is sitting high with a perfect score of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. And over on IMDb, the episode has achieved 9.5 out of 10. That's even better than the previous three episodes, which combined of a score of 8.8, 8.5, .8, 8 
and 9.1 respectively. Now, HBO spinoff of 2022's The Batman stars Colin Farrell as Oz Cobb, a.k.a. The Penguin. However, it's the fourth episode centers on a different character entirely, Sophia Falcone. Like I was mentioning, it's just her backstory showing how she became the hangman and why she resents her family so much. But the show is very, very good. Unfortunately, like I said, I was in London, so I didn't get to watch the episode on time. But we'll be we'll be back this week with the episode, the recaps dropping back on Monday. So, man, I'm I'm really loving the show, to be honest with you. I can't knock it. When I seen that they were going to actually come out with it, I was a little hesitant. But it seemed I like the realism from it, even though it is a comic. I, I'm with it, man. DC, you got one with this because I heard a joke or two. It bombed. But this here must watch TV. All right. So let me know what you think about the Penguin. Is it really worth the hype? Do you believe that this show is standing up to the test of time? Do you believe that Penguin is going to get a season two? Let me be honest with you. I think it's going to get a season two. The fan feedback. We're loving it so far, and they're doing a great job. My name is Mo J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.